Underestimate my sword. for me.
play some colorful melodies for you.
Be gone! I will not falter! Darkness, be gone! My faithful servant!
where there is doubt, there is temptation. you on proper etiquette. longer in the water. There's so many different types of ships! I never get tired of 
instead of sinking them.
Who is the real me? Gosh! The Lost Boys would love it here! You've got the best deals on delicious food. Order now. You've got the best deals on delicious food. Order now. The cookies of the Golden Cheese Kingdom just adore their riches. I do have other matters to attend to. Have a great please do tell me if you come across a lost doll.
library on the entire continent!
Yeah, you're right as always, Mr. Cookie. <laughs> anyway, so I am bad at thinking about you really have this gorgeous library in front of your eyes. Yeah, yeah, you're right as always. Anyways, the secrets of the archives await. Let's march inside, my friends. There's no better. Yeah, yeah. You're right as always, Risk Cookie. <laughs> Anyways, the secrets of the archives await. Let's march inside, my friends. There's no better way to seek out the truth than a library. This one here might be the greatest library on the entire continent. It would have been a shame to miss this place. It would have been a shame to miss this place. I'm ready to check each and every nook and cranny here! Wow, this library is really big! They must have books on everything in the world! Hmm, should we split up? Good idea! I'll check the picture books here! There's gotta be at least one I can understand! <laughs> These are not just pictures, it's mathematics! The science trying to explain the world in numbers and figures! You see, it shows how to divide an apple pie into seven equal parts. With this book, seven wizards will be able to enjoy their pie in peace. Such a lucky find, Gingerbrave. The witches' books don't have anything like that. Why? What's so different about them? The wizards thought that precision paves the path to the truth. They tried to communicate ideas as accurately as possible. See that shelf with lots of giant tomes and quills? That's how hard they worked to achieve the perfect preciseness. And the witches expressing themselves through songs and dancing, I think. There's books on various magical appliances here. Look, this one explains how to make the best magic wand. Use measuring tape. Measure length from elbow to third finger second knuckle? Important. The wood must be... Do you really need to know all that? Oh, those are just the basics every wizard needs to know. You won't become a wizard with that attitude of yours, Ginger Brave. Maybe you should try... singing? I've never said I wanted to become a wizard. I'm not a wizard. I'm a cookie. Still hearts. So you fell in love with an emotionless cookie? Uh... Drawing without errors. Perfect magic circles. 27 ways to grow taller. Hmm. Huh. Say what? What was that last one? Ah! It... it moved! First time seeing moving letters? <laughs> Ancient wizards used to make letters move quite often. No, not the letters! It's a bookworm! Ah, and... and it bites! I've seen those gnawing on old books, but to snack on a valuable magic tome? Unforgivable! Oh, it must have eaten a lot of magic energy. Let's just be more careful with those books. Whew, this magic library is a dangerous place. Huh? What's that? That book looks... important. The Lunar Compendium, huh? Straight to the point. That's precisely what we needed. Please treat the books with care. Ah! Oh, who, who are you? Blueberry Pie Cookie. 
librarian. And you are? And you are? These archives have been abandoned for a long, long time. We came on a dream train in search of Moonlight Cookie. Then you are her guests. Hmm. We didn't realize there were other cookies in the city. The entire city of wizards looked completely empty. Are you a prisoner here? The wizard's prisoner? No. I'm not a prisoner. I merely signed a pact. My duty is to sort the books in order and keep a watchful eye on everything happening within these walls. Such work requires a lot of time. Don't you ever wish you could do something else? Take a walk outside, for example. I'm not too fond of all the air and sunlight. Besides, the knowledge preserved here knows no bounds. This one, for example, the Lunar Compendium, a tome of great value. It was written a century before the Great Clock Tower was built. All written records of the era remain intact to this day. As you may have guessed, they are all contained in this very book. Yet, I would advise against opening it. The book is known to test cookies who dare read it. For such is the will of the clock tower protecting the city. But we've come all this way here. We're ready for any test this book might dish out. Darkness be gone! I will not falter! Darkness be gone! I will not falter! It seems that I underestimated you. You possess great wisdom and courage. The Lunar Compendium has deemed you worthy. I, I love this book! So much information inside! Just listen, the wizards actually managed to build it! The clock tower to control the night sky! This tower doesn't simply show the time, it controls time in this city! But there's more! It also controls the position of the sun, the moon, and the constellations! That must be the magical clock we saw in Moonlight Cookie's memories! Which means... we have to climb the tower and move the clock's hands! That must be it! That should wake Moonlight Cookie. If only the moon was full tonight. Gingerbrave, you're right! That must be the answer! The book says that the hands cannot be moved by just anyone, but there is a way to do that. Looks like we have to solve a riddle? I'm gonna read it. Three wizards cut the pie of time. Three pieces, fair and just. A piece of sun, a piece of moon, a... Uh, let me write that down. Uh, sun, moon... Uh, come again? Wh what kind of riddle is that? I didn't understand a thing. Maybe the wizards want to test us. In order to use the clock tower, you have to be this smart. Phew. <laughs> we can do it. We can. Thank you, Blueberry Pie Cookie. With your help, we'll find a way to wake Moonlight Cookie. Oh, or maybe you want to go meet Moonlight Cookie with us? Lady Moonlight Cookie. Who would have known we were destined to become the last cookies to guard this place? I remember the times of old. The wizards would select the dough imbued with the finest, purest moonlight and create cookies 
to preserve their knowledge forever. I am forbidden to leave this place, and I dare not ask for an audience with Lady Moonlight Cookie. Sometimes, I see a faint ray of moonlight coming through this small window. For me, that ray of light is... Hmm... Farewell. Goodbye! Hmm... There is something I failed to mention. A collection of personal notes left by the same author has been kept here in the library. This journal describes the dark, unknown parts of the wizard's research. It has been kept in the shadows of the most remote section away from prying eyes. Will you ever see the light of day, I wonder? But for now, May the gentle moonlight in
I've been granted a second chance. Conflict can be resolved through conversations. Darkness, 
Rusty yet. Oh, we've climbed so far, but there is still a long way to the top. I am starting to feel a bit tired, though. Oh. Are you all right, Icicle Yeti Cookie? Yeah, couldn't be better. I live here, after all. I think I get to climb this mountain. The friend. I'm so excited! Uh -huh. What's wrong, my friend? Uh, I stepped on a patch of ice and fell over. I 
await our next victory. Congratulations! Get the exclusive privilege of this video. Go to Shopee to buy it. Congratulations! Get the exclusive privilege of this video. Go to Shopee to buy it.
for ya. Only the wise are allowed in the clock chamber. Let the night sky guide your way. Only the strong and the brave may ascend to the top. Uh, do we need your permission to pass? Hmm. Uh, why did the wizards like Tess so much? Tell us more about the trials. Heed my question. An ingredient of great value is required to fashion a magic wand that will reveal a cookie wizard's true potential. What is it? Easy peasy. It's a sugar crystal, of course. Wizard, you have acquired my permission to enter the clock tower. <laughs> How do you like that? Well done, Wizard Cookie. Heed my question. A fiery star has risen in the sky west from here. Oh, are you asking me? Uh, um, Moonlight Cookie herself pleaded for help. Maybe a danger is growing closer. You may proceed, Seeker of the Moon, but... Beware of what lies ahead. Oh, I must have guessed right. Looks like the last test is for me. I'm the brave one here, right? Ooh, what will it be? I shall test your courage. To arms! I was afraid it would come to violence. Never a dull moment! Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! 
darkness I will hell. not falter! This is my penitence! Darkness I will go. not falter! This is my penitence! I will Shoot not this. falter! They were particularly crumbly! <laughs> Cookies brave and strong! You have my permission to enter the clock tower! Was the fighting really necessary? Moonlight Cookie, we're coming! Wait just a bit more! goes there? We came to wake Moonlight Cookie! And we must in the clock's hands. Can you let us pass? The clocks show the correct time. Perfectly correct! Cookies we must, must leave. leave! Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! My skills are not rusty yet. Cookies are strong! We are defeated. <laughs> so sorry about that. But we really must ring that bell. Wizard Cookie, we'll take it from here. You go upstairs and solve the riddle. I can do that. Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! This is my penitence! I will not falter! This is my penitence! This is my penitence! I will not falter! This is my penitence! This is my penitence! This is my penitence! My skills are not ready yet. All right, I'm in the clock chamber. Aha! There are pictures of the sun, the moon, and the stars at the ends of those three clock hands. You might be right. But the pies. Uh, hmm. The pie of time. Pies are usually round, right? What if the pie is the face of the clock itself? Good thinking, Strawberry Cookie. I'll try to divide it into three parts. Uh, Ginger Brave, don't forget. You always cut the biggest piece yourself. The riddle says that the parts must be fair, equal. Let me try. There are 12 numbers. Divide by three, four numbers per wizard. Let's move the sun hand to 12, the moon to 4, and the star to 8. See? Perfectly equal. Whoa, good job, Wizard Cookie. From now on, I'll let you cut all our pies. Now, the reel of stars. Turn thrice. Stars? Constellations? Maybe it's that dial! There are constellations inscribed all over it. Let's try and turn it three times. Ah! 
I think you're right. And that crescent-shaped thing over there. How do we make it meet its second half? Is there even a second half? Look, the second half is over there on the opposite side. We could push them to make them meet, I think. Yes, it worked! Good job, friends. We're almost there. We only have to find that Choco Major now. Darkness, big arms! I will not falter! Darkness, big arms! This is my skeleton! I will not falter! Oh no, we're out of time! I have no idea what to do! Eureka! There! Point the biggest hand at that star, Ginger Brave! Alright, I can do that! Yes! Yes, we did it! The clock is glowing! Moonlight Cookie and the City of Wizards is waking up! It's like the universe meeting a new dawn. Moonlight Cookie, it's us! Ginger Brave, Strawberry Cookie, Wizard Cookie. At last we meet. You helped me cross the vast realm of dreams. Even in my slumbers, I knew you would come find me. On behalf of all the wizards, I, Moonlight Cookie, thank you. It's a great honor to meet you. Thank you for inviting us here. Y yes I'm happy to meet you too. No, it's us who are thankful. We saw so many amazing things on our way here. Mm-hmm. My friends, it would have been an immense pleasure for me to show you this city, my home. But the moon has hidden behind a cloud, and the stars send us an anxious warning. It may so happen that time is against us. What are you saying? I have seen it in my dreams. A vision not of our past, but of our future. Darkness, big arms! I will not falter! I will not falter! This is my captain! Darkness, big arms! I will not falter! Let us Darkness, big arms! I will not falter! This is my penitence! I will not falter! The 
vision of a star falling from the sky. That's just a shooting star. To make a wish... Wait, is it about to fall right here? Yes. The city of wizards is in great danger. And though my powers will be enough to stop it, I cannot help but feel like something is amiss. Moonlight Cookie! Did you call us here because you knew it would happen? I only saw a glimpse. A premonition of a coming calamity. Terrible, yet faintly familiar. I don't understand. Huh? Look! Is, is that a cookie? You're right! Right there! The bright blue star! This is... Is this it? The City of Wizards? In my imagination, it looked different. And the wizards... There are none to be seen. You, the cookie who descended with a rain of falling stars. The wizards who created me, left eons ago. I am the lone custodian of this abandoned city. Did you come in search of the wizards? What is your name? They call me Stardust Cookie. I was born from the coalesced light of thousands of nameless stars and the very breath of the cosmos. At first, I thought that my birth was a mere coincidence, and the stars whispered to me. They told me that the matter of my dough came from here. From here? Stardust Cookie! Please stop the stars from raining down on us! You'll destroy the city! These stars do not follow my will. They merely follow me to their birthplace. What? must have started the dough of nameless stars in their attempts to create moonlight cookie from the purest moonlight. It was Stardust Cookie. I understand now. For them, I was an impurity. A loose unknown in their equation. They banished my dough into space, and there, instinctively, it swam towards the sheltering starlight. So long ago, I barely recall. I had already changed by the time I reached the Sugar Swan constellation. I gained awareness of my cookie nature. With time, wandering stardust completed my shape, and the suns heated my frozen life of still. I sensed it through my dreams. I watched how your features grew tangible with time. I traveled across the dreams of countless cookies and wizards. Yet I've never seen anything quite like yourself. The enigma that you were haunted me. It made me feel as if my knowledge was a lie. But now I see it clearly. I and this city. We both had an unseen dark side. May I ask, why did you bring the stars with you to fall upon this place? It seems that we... You may refuse to show it, but I can sense your struggle. The fear and hatred you harbor towards me. Why? I did not even know of your existence. And these stars are playthings unwanted, thrown away by the wizards. In the vast cosmos, they wandered aimlessly. Now it is the time for them to return to their birthplaces embrace. It is my time to return. Heed my words, wizards! For you have wronged us all! 
Like a calm shore that turns into a mighty tide, you came to wash away this city. Unforeseen by even the wisest. Yes, even the wizard's knowledge had its limits. Please understand. Their fascination with the night sky was pure. Their passion for knowledge had no ill intentions. And still, we stand as an example of their cruelty. Forsaken and discarded by our own creators. Like this city. Like yourself. In whom they took such pride. Ah! Uh, no more. Your words hurt like the terror of night. Moonlight Cookie, don't give in! Don't forget how strong you are! My heart is yearning, yearning to meet them, to ask a question, even for but a brief moment. I trust them, therefore I must protect this city, to keep custody of their seat of power until the day of their return. Let this city dream, dream! A victory. Do you wish to fight? Knowing that space itself is immeasurably greater than you. The full might of the countless bright stars. Darkness, be gone! I will not falter! Darkness, be gone! I will not falter!
let's do this! What should we do? The city's defenses are getting weaker. Even the lights are flickering, and the golden stars look all confused. Because of Stardust Cookie, Moonlight Cookie's dream is getting unstable. I don't think we can help it. He will destroy the city. We need to escape, now! No, we can't let that happen. We must protect Moonlight Cookie. What about the archives? I'm worried about Blueberry Pie Cookie. <sighs> Moonlight Cookie, you can do it. Please hold on a bit longer. We must help Blueberry Pie Cookie. Be careful, Ginger Brave. <laughs> oh, you. What are you doing? You're supposed to protect the library. Wizard stars, please stop your doomward march. The star too must be sad to see its home destroyed. I, I feel conflicted. 
The star should welcome our return, yet it is in dismay. Is there really no place for us here? Stardust Cookie, it's time to stop! We understand you're angry and all, but there's no need to destroy the entire city! If you continue, you will harm Moonlight Cookie! Yes. This sight pains me too. I shall wipe this city clean, erasing all remaining memories of its denizens. Yes! Finally you understand- oh, wait, what? Do you even hear yourself? Everything is filled with sorrow. The lonely cries of the stars, and moonlight cookies' unseen tears. Huh. A custodian watching over an empty city. How many years have you spent in solitude? Can you even count those timeless years? The wizards are nowhere to be seen, and they will never be seen again. I shall bring this all to ruins. All to set you free! I shall spare no strength. You don't understand! Moonlight Cookie loves this place! As a wizard myself, I'll fight to protect this place! Let's go, my friends! Does the deed make the hero, or the hero make the deed?
Never heard that name before. The ringing bells? <laughs> oh, that's... that's me. Too loud?
this place could use a thorough cleaning. How about you? Do 
darkness be gone! I will this not is my falter!
Hey there! I believe the truth would set everyone free. A step forward in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> 